everybody, what is up? It is Raymond Ghost. You're coming back to you guys. Just more reacting to my old Tumblr posts. So when we last left off, it was May 2010. So yeah, let's see what happens in June. Apparently I didn't have any posts in June. Okay, let's see if I have anything from July. If it decides to work. Thank you. Maybe I have some posts in July. Maybe. Oop, I do. I do have some posts in July. I need more friends. <laughs> Quote from me. I need more friends. Words that I have dreaded my whole life. Oh. What is this? Okay, so somebody posted this and I reposted it too about it. Let me. Can I see the original post? No, I guess I can only see the blurb. I would just like to say I wouldn't be who I am if I had never heard of Love Via Dance Machine. When I got into the music, it changed. I changed. I learned how to let loose and have fun. And best of all, I gained some of the most amazing guys and in my life. They're always fun to talk to and really upbeat. And dot dot dot, which I can't see any more of it. I've known Love Your Dance Machine since November 5th, 2009. I met them when I was going to a concert in Bennington, Vermont for stay. I already had stay in my life to make me happy, but still something was missing. Stay's music was wonderful, but it just wasn't as upbeat as I as upbeat as I need music to be to make me really happy. I didn't really talk much with LVDM after the, that concert. When I went to see them this past January at the Middle East, I fell more in love with them. I had downloaded their EP a few days before the concert, but Alex gave me a copy at the concert. I actually talked to Alex at the January concert and he was really nice. After going to the five concerts I've been to for them now. I can't help but get pumped for their performance. And their music always makes me happy. I love LVDM. Oh, that's so nice. And what is this one? Been a while. Which is one of my own posts. Been a while. Yes, I've been absent from here for a while and sort of stopped my band of the month things. Well, before it was because I forgot I was doing them. I wasn't on here much. Now it will be because of other reasons, which I will not be announcing for a while, even though a few people already know. So yeah, summer is going by slowly and boringly. As always, school can't come fast enough, even though I have a little over five weeks left of summer. I'm chilling with my home friends quite a bit to keep me occupied, but it isn't keeping me too occupied. Maybe now that my plants are finally producing I'll have something to actually do. Okay, so yes, this is all ramble, but when it isn't my post usually. Okay, I think it's time for some sleep. <laughs> okay, apparently I was tired. All right, let's see what's in August. August, yeah. Hey, Ray. Oh, yeah, by the way, happy Valentine's Day. This is not, it will be Valentine's Day here where I am uh, when this goes up. Holy chamoli! That's a lot of posts. Okay, um... We'll start with this one, I guess. <clears throat> Holy chalupa! That's a lot of posts! <laughs> Alright, so, dreaming. I wonder sometimes about my dreams, but lately something really got me thinking about them. I have a friend I used to dream about all the time many years ago. He was in a lot of my dreams, but recently he isn't anymore. He used to say to me that he would probably be over my house a lot later on in my life, but recently he changed his career choice and he said he was planning on moving to Las Vegas or working on a boat as a hospitality person. So I wouldn't be seeing him ever again. I wondered because of his choice and career is the reason why he isn't there in my dreams anymore. My other friend shows up all the time or I call her constantly. I'm starting to wonder if it's a sign because the other day when I realized this 
I ask myself, where is he? I don't know. Sometimes my dreams do come true. I know the w one I had about five times wouldn't ever. And I think because I finally accepted it that it stopped happening. I'm still going to miss my friends, family, and the bands when I leave next Sunday. Huh. Okay. Um, I, I know who this is about. This is about Aaron. And maybe it was predicting what's going to happen. I spelled Las Vegas wrong. <laughs> but, um, but he did disappear after a while. But I don't... It wasn't this point he had disappeared quite yet. It wasn't until after, in 2011, that he disappeared forever. And so did my other friend. But maybe I was predicting the future, because sometimes that does happen to me. Oh, and I had this one, too. What is the earliest human memory? Is your earliest human memory? Ooh, this should be interesting. Let's see what my earliest human memory is that I wrote about. I think I, I, I know what it is anyway, but... Um, my earliest memory is when I was five, sitting in a preschool classroom, waiting for my grandmother to get me. I was only the only one in the room. My teacher called my mom at work because she was supposed to have already come and got me. She never came. Little did I know she had been in a car accident and the last time I would have seen her alive was when she brought me to class. I miss my nan. I miss you, Nana. So yeah, if you guys read, listened to my poetry reading yesterday, you know that this is her I'm talking about in this post. And I have a post about life. Woohoo. A post about a lot about life. Why does it seem to really hate me? Every time I think something is going to go right, it decides not to. My life just loves to laugh at me in the face. I just give up. Yeah, Greywind, I feel the same way. <laughs> Even today. <laughs> Alright, and this one is, why is most... Oh, what is the most awkward moment you've had at a concert? Hmm. Well, I think I've, I've had quite a few of those, but one that just popped into my mind had to be when I went to the Weymouth concert back in May. I was sitting on a couch, singing along to their songs with camera in hand, and about to take a photo of Alex Badenins, Badenins from Love You a Dance Machine when he starts stares right at me and starts to smile and sing sort of to me. I couldn't help but blush and turn away. Oh, yeah. I kind of remember that. At the same time, I kind of don't. Now you have to understand, I don't like Alex that way, but it was just awkward that I was about to take a photo of him and he just looks right at me. I don't like it when a person knows I'm about to take a photo. It just makes me jitter inside. There was another time when I first saw Stay in concert. I couldn't ask Steve for a photo because I was just so nervous. I couldn't see... I hadn't seen him since May 2008, and I never actually talked to him when I was in high school. Also, meeting Tony for the first time was an interesting experience. He hugs me, and I just stood there. I couldn't find any words to say to him. Tony, at the time, to me, was a complete stranger, and no stranger has ever hugged me. Since I started to go to concerts, I've gotten more used to random people coming up to me and hugging me. <laughs> and that was very awkward. I remember when I... I remember that day when I met Tony for the first time. I was like, uh, 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 what am I supposed to do? <laughs> this is weird. Uh, reblog this with a band that has changed your life. Okay. That was just a thing. I read that. 10 day challenge. Day one, 10 things you want to say to 10 different people right now. Ooh, I want to look at that one. Let's see if I can identify who I'm talking to. In all of them. I love you, but I shouldn't because I know you don't feel the same. No idea who that's about. I hope school goes better for you your freshman year than me. I think that's going to Fran. I miss you like crazy every time you go away. I have no idea who that is. I can't wait to see you on Sunday and catch up again. I think that's Steph. I don't like you like everyone else does because of one reason I will not say. No idea who that is either. I don't get why you won't talk to me anymore. It saddens me. Still don't know who that is. I miss you like crazy, and I hope to see you again soon. No idea. 
I'm going to miss you when I leave for college. Enjoy your year two. I think that's Aaron or Sarah. I don't know. Thanks for all the support. I think that's Steve. And I am who I am because of everything you taught me and made me go through. And I think that's Josh. <laughs> okay. Nine things about yourself. Ooh. I'm going to go through all these. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But it's interesting to see what I used to post. Um, my birthday is on January 18th. And this year, I will be 21 next year. And I'll be starting classes that day, too. Who? Boo. <laughs> My favorite local bands are Stay, LVDM, and Small Talk. Stay has changed my life, and I can't thank them enough. I attend Southern Vermont College, where I'm studying creative writing and communications. I want to be an author critic. <laughs> that never happened. Oh, yes. I live on a 114-acre farm with my parents, uncle, cats, and dog. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> I have an awesome set of friends, and I don't know what I would do without them. Still true. I work hard to get to where I am today. Still true. I love my life, and I wouldn't change it for the world. Yeah, mostly true. <laughs> All right, what is day one, two? Why is day five before day three? I don't know. Day three. <laughs> I didn't even read what it said. Eight ways to win your, your heart. Play an instrument. Yeah. <laughs> Instrument isn't really my my number one thing these days. Uh, I have to feel like I can trust you. That is definitely true. Be honest with me most of the time. That's true. Show me that you care about me. Don't just say you do. That's also true. Laugh at me when, even when I say I, it isn't completely funny. That is true. Show me you can be shy sometimes. That is true. Love me for who I am and all my imperfections. That's true. Show that you truly love me and won't leave me or cheat on me. That is also true. The other one that's not really true is the first one. I don't care if you're playing an instrument. And I did, but like, I'm like, I like gamers. I like anybody who's creative, you know. I'm a very drawn to people who are like myself, creative people. People who game, you know, that's what I'm into. So that's something that draws me to other people. Um, okay. Day four. Seven things that cross your mind a lot. When will I wake from the dream I live every day? Hmm. Does a certain person mean everything they really say? Or do they just say what they think I want to hear? So true. A certain band writing a song about me? Hmm. I hope I get to work in my dream job someday. <laughs> I don't have a dream job anymore. What am I going to write for my third play this semester? <laughs> well, that's not something I have to worry about. <laughs> what will happen to my relationship with a friend of mine after they get out of college. That was probably about Aaron, and I lost him. And will I be a failure in my life after college? Kind of are. Sorry to say the same, but you kind of are. <clears throat> You're a complete failure. Six things you wish you'd never done. Dated my ex-boyfriend. Both of them. <laughs> Let him take my virginity. Yep. Still kind of regret that a little bit. Believing all his lies and letting him manipulate me. Yep. Trying to push away everyone when they were trying to be there for me. Yeah, still that. Ever admitting to the people I had crushes on that I liked them that way. Yup, still true. Always trying to push away the bands that make me my life heaven on earth. And eh, well, that's not true anymore because <laughs> I don't have them anymore either. Okay, so where's day six? Day six, here it is. <laughs> Um, day six. Five people who mean a lot to me in no order whatsoever. Fran, Aaron, Sarah, Steph, Steve. <laughs> okay. <laughs> day seven. That was an easy one. Four turnoffs. Okay, smoking. I'm actually kind of like putting that on the back burner now because one of my good friends is a smoker and I kind of hang out with them a lot. So I've kind of gotten over that. I mean, I still kind of don't want to date somebody that smokes, but at the same time, if they're going to, if they agree to quit and I can help them quit, that's good. Cheating, being a player, oh yeah, still definitely forcing me to be someone I'm not, definitely in bold. Oh yes. <laughs> so that's still true. Smoking ones, like I said, it's kind of like, I kind of putting that on the back burner these days. Three turn-ons, caring, high size, and honest and trustworthy. 
I would also like to add on great sense of humor and kind of perverted mind because that's kind of like who I'm drawn to these days is somebody who can be as perverted in their mind as I am and who has a great sense of humor. Okay, phase nine. Two smileys that describe your life. Extremely happy and tired. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and last but not least, day 10. One confession. I love you and I say it to you all the time, but you think it's a friendship love is what I mean. I use it, I used to mean it that way, but now I mean it the other way. You will never know how I actually feel about you because I won't tell you. You don't like me that way, so I won't say it to you. I know who that's about. And I can kind of, I can kind of use that as the same kind of thing for what's going on with me right now with somebody else. But I'm not going to say who. But yeah, okay. So I'll go into the rest of these, like this one and this one and all the rest uh, in my next video. I just wanted to read those because... Those are pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of me reading through my Tumblr post. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. The Raywin is out of here. Bye and have a good day.